What's up, y'all? Hope all is well. Listen, when you come on, make sure you hit that uh, follow button. Make sure you also hit that subscribe button, all those things like that. Uh, I wanted to get on really quick today uh, just to make sense of a lot of things that are transpiring, a lot of things that's going on. Um, and that is this. Uh, I'm trying to share this video really quick. We have Black Lives Matter out. We have Black Lives Matter that's protesting, that's marching, that's doing all of those things. Black Lives Matter that's doing all those things. What's up? Good morning. Um, if that truly is a situation, understand this. There are more people dying out here and they are black. They're black and they're trans. They're black and they're gay. They're black, period. If we say that black lives matter, that includes everybody that's black. It doesn't matter their sexual orientation or anything of that nature. Good morning, y'all, good morning. It doesn't matter. My thing is we can't pick and choose whose life is better. Right after that, right after that, right after George Floyd was killed. What's up, cousin? Right after George Floyd was killed, there was a transgender female, male to female, that was brutally uh, beat down by a mob, by a mob of people, mob of black people. Now again, we do this stuff to ourselves, right? We do this stuff to ourselves. And then we get out here and we want to march, okay? We want to march because some white man has killed us. Hear me, hear, like listen to the logic. And I know a lot of you all may not may say, well, Mario, that's not the same thing. No, hear me. We march, hey neighbors. We march because the white man or Espanolo or uh, hey y'all, good morning. Or somebody who ain't necessarily Afro, whatever, has killed us. Our cousins have killed us. And we want to march against them, right? We want to march against them. But what about what we're doing to our own selves? Now, let's make this make sense. Now, is it is it a difference between a white police officer killing a black man or a transgender? Is it a difference between a white police officer killing versus, what's up, good morning, versus black on black crimes? Yeah, it's a little different because we're gonna go slap the jail, right? We're gonna go slap the jail. That police officer may get a slap on the wrist and may go back home to his wife and kids. Meanwhile, us black people, we gotta put up a GoFundMe, right? This is, this is what I'm saying. Killing is all wrong. Say it one more time. Killing is still wrong. It's wrong. We ain't gonna go about what the Bible say. We ain't gonna go about that. Killing is wrong. Killing is wrong. Amen, church, amen. Killing is still wrong. But the pro this is the situation. If we're doing it to ourselves, we're only giving them an excuse to say, well, they're vermins to us anyways. We might as well go ahead and kill them. That's, that's my logic. That's my logic. So if I'm not killing my brother, my sister, or niece, nephew, or whatever, if I'm not doing that, then I have a leg to stand on saying, my community, my community is not that. I'm gonna say it one more time. My community is not that. My community is not killing one another. My community is not, you know what I'm saying, trying to take each other out. So I 
I am not going to allow you the okay and green pass to come into my community and do the same thing. So, so to all of my to all of my to all of my gay boys and girls, let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. And some of y'all may not like me, and that's fine. Let's have a conversation. Um, I know a lot of these trade boys and things is out here taking y'all out and trying to kill y'all. I got that. You can't be out here pulling stunts, though. You can't be out here pulling stunts. Um, I know that man probably said he gonna leave his wife for you. Oh, <laughs> okay, tell him I said, hey. I know that they may have said they're gonna leave a wife for you or whatever the case may be. But um, if they don't, this is not where you go and try to go put somebody on blast, expose them create a Facebook group and try to do all kind type of damn, oh shit, type of damnable evil towards somebody because what you fail to realize, what you fail to realize is, what you fail to realize is just like you went messing with trade, trade is still, trade still has the capability of being trade on you. And taking you out of here again. Is it right? No, it's not right. Now, now my other uh, instance is this. There are a lot of people who just don't like transgender, male, female, whichever one. They just have a disdain for them. Okay, that, that we got that part too. But at the end of the day, it's still a life. If you don't like somebody, you don't like them, move it around. It's not okay. It's not okay to just be killing somebody because you don't like them. You're no, if, if that is the case, you're no better than white supremacy. Let's make that make sense. If, if you're out here killing black people, if you're out here killing black gays, black trans, and things of that nature because you don't like gays or trans. Hear me when I say this. You're no better. You're no better than white supremacy. You're no better than white supremacy. Oh, Mario, that's not true. Oh, absolutely true. See, the Bible say, okay, so if you want to use the Bible, let me help you out with your Bible, King James preferably. Let me help you out with your Bible. Your Bible says in Exodus 21 and 20 through 22, I believe, it talked about servant obeying your master, servants being beat by your master. And as long as your master does not kill you, you'll be fine. Give them two days to recover and you'll be good. If you beat your servant and they happen to get hurt, Give them two days to recover. If they do not recover, you'll be punished. That's what your Bible says. So before you come, want to come tell me about what the Bible says, before you come tell me about what the Bible says, remember there's a Bible scripture for everything and everybody. Hey, then there's a Bible scripture for everything and everybody. Because white people alike, the, the white supremacists, they're using the Bible too. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. They're using the Bible too. White, white supremacists feel that it's their God-given right. It's their God-given right to enslave them. And when they say, make America great again, 
They're saying take us back to slavery. They're saying take us back to Jim Crow. They're saying take us back to the time when we had control over these savages. That's what they're saying. Take us back. They want to be able to put you in bondage, put you in chains. That's make America great again. So, if you cool and you understand that, then let's move forward. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you're saying black lives matter. Hear me when I tell you this. We're saying black lives matter. If black lives matter, that gay life that we're not marching for, they matter too. That transgender life that, that y'all want to beat up on and y'all want to kill them and take them out, their life matters too. Now, with that being said, let me say this. Your life matters too. Little trans girl, little trans boy, your life matters too. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you can't be out here pulling stunts and then get mad because you get retaliated on And you want somebody to march for you. See, that, that's the problem. You can't do that. You can't, you can't pull a stunt, right? You can't pull a stunt. And then you want somebody to save you. You can't cry wolf. And there is no wolf. You're the one that's out here playing with the people's emotions. You can't do that. Hmm? You can't, you can't pull, you can't be out here trying to hit a lick. Yeah, I said that. You can't be out here trying to hit a lick. And then when you don't hit the lick and you get hit, then you want folks to cry. Oh, that was my friend. That was my friend. Okay, well, your friend was out here cutting up and acting a fool and got hit. Trying to, trying to bust a lick. Trying to hit a lick. So, anyways, I'm just, I'm just. Hey, hey, I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying, make it make sense. Black lives matter. Trans lives matter. All these lives matter. You know what I'm saying? All lives, you know, matter. But we gotta act like they matter. Feel me? We gotta act like they matter. If you, if 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 they don't matter, if all lives don't matter to you, hear me. If all lives don't matter to you, and when I say all lives, I'm talking about black lives right now. If all black lives don't matter, then put your sign down, right? Put your sign down, because right now the world has somewhat unified, unified together to say black lives matter. That mean all Asians for black lives, Dominicans for black lives, Puerto Ricans for black lives. You got white folks out here even saying black lives matter. Hmm? So if all these people have unified together, if all these people have unified together, if all these people have unified together to say black lives matter, that should say something to your black life. Ooh, Mario. No, that should say something to your black life. That all these people have come together for one purpose, one cause, one mission. And that is to say, taking somebody's life because of the color of their skin now let's 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 take it even further. Taking someone's life because of the color of their skin is not and will never be will never be okay. Do I have a church?
in here. We'll never be okay. We'll never be okay. Just because they're have, they have a different sexual orientation than you does not mean that it's okay to snatch their life. Nobody has the authority or power to take somebody's life other than God. Miss Nancy Parker said, Lord, I'm a biracial child. This hurts me bad. My mom is so hurt. My father was born in 1915. Uh, it hurts me to know all he went through. I'm so afraid for my son. Will it all get better? Okay. Yeah, true. True, true, true. So what do we do? What do we do about people like that? What do we do about people who are products of their parents? Do we hate them? Do we are do their lives matter too? Hello, somebody. Do do we throw their lives away? Do we throw their lives away? No, we don't. That's a life. You can't help who people fall in love with. You can't help who people get in a relationship with. Their life matters too. Maybe in the next about 20, 30 years, it ain't gonna be no white, black, baby. It's gonna be a whole, it's gonna be a one race. I don't know what to call you. Who your mama? Well, he was that black man over there right there. That's that's my daddy right there. Who your mama? Oh, it was that that um uh Hispanic girl right there. Or who your parents? Them two dudes right there. Who your parents? Them two women right there. Who your parent? That guy right there. That woman right there. This this is a total different situation. Total different situation. You hear me? Total different situation. We're living in an age where don't ain't nobody think of it. If you still stuck in a racial confine, like you you have racial issues, if you're still stuck there, you're going to get left behind. And the day you come out your mouth talking about, I don't like boop, that, that's what you're going to get. Boop. That's what you're gonna, I don't like black people. Lights out. Night, night, nigga. This ain't, this ain't that day. You have a core group of white supremacists. You have a core group of people that's still holding on to those old traditions. You have a core group of black people that still think that we need to be segregated. You have a core group of people that don't, thank you. You have a core group of people, you know what I'm saying? That still, hey. You have a core group, you have a core group of people who are still stuck. Well, baby, we're, Keep it up. You have a core group of people that still feel like that mean you're going to have a problem. Now keep it up. You have a core group of people who still feel like that that type of behavior is okay. But let me tell you something. We're living in 2020. Not 1915, not 1813. Baby, we live in 19, we don't live in 1919. We live in 2020. You can be, you can live in 1913 if you want to, and you can catch these ones and twos. Okay? You can catch these ones and twos. Because this day and time, ain't nobody scared of no of, of, of no KKK. Nobody's scared of the KKK. Nobody's scared of this new modern guys. Clue Clucks Clan. Prince. Nobody's scared. We had a whole black president that white people and black people alike made fun of. Y'all black folks, y'all wanted so bad for Barack Hussein Obama and Michelle to go above and beyond for you. Did you ask George Bush to go above and beyond for you? Did you ask Bill Clinton to go above and be? Did you ask George Bush Sr. to go above and beyond for you? 
Did you did you ask Jimmy Carter to go above? Did you ask Jimmy Nixon to go above and beyond for you? No, you didn't. Barack got in that White House and served for not just one term, but two. And that Negro did the best he could while he was in office. So let me tell you something. When you give black folks something, they don't know how to just say thank you and be grateful and keep moving. But now you got a president, not mine, yours. You got a president that's in the office that's inciting hate, that's inciting chaos, that's inciting foolishness. And now you want to cry out for somebody to rescue you. You didn't enjoy them, them eight years? Oh, you, you didn't you didn't you didn't enjoy you didn't enjoy having a president in the office that was doing all that he could. See, that, that's that's the way they do. That, that's the way they do. That's the way they do. They get a black man in the office and they want to run him down. They want to run him down. They want to drag him. Man, you had white folks out here paying lookalikes all in trees. Come to my monkeys and. All kind of thing. Y'all didn't y'all y'all forgot that? Again, if black lives matter, all lives matter. Your your our president, Barack Obama, when there were black men and black women that were killed, who was the first one to say something? While y'all looking for y'all pastors to say something? Who was the first person to say something? When Mike Brown got killed, who said something? This wasn't a tweet. Who actually said something? When, 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 when Trayvon Martin got killed, who said something? Who took a stand for not the Black Lives Movement, but for Black Lives, period, all lives? Who took a stand? My point exactly. My point exactly. My point exactly. You want this man to do so much for you, but what did y'all do? What did y'all do? Now, here's my thing. Y'all talking about, well, Mario, we need to get out here and vote. Vote and do what? If you're not going to change, the situation is not going to change. I'm going to say that one more time. If you're not going to change, then this situation is not going to change either. This situation is not going to change either. If you're not going to do better, this situation is not going to get better. You can vote all day long. And obviously right now, the choices that we have for voting is Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Well, hell, I'm not going to be voting for Donald Duck Trump. But I also need to know what is Joe Biden going to be bringing to the table? Because, again, I'm not trying to have another white man in the white office and carrying on. And he's going to be just the same as Donald Duck. I'm not I'm not even trying to have that. Not even trying to have that. So, listen. If 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 Joe Biden. Because there's going to be. There's going to be a swing in this situation. <gasps> There's going to be a swing in this situation. There may even come a liberal out of nowhere and win all kinds of votes. Who knows? Who knows? Anything could happen nowadays. That's why I say you got to watch everything. Because right now, Y'all sending all this money to Black Lives Matter? We're in June. We're in June. Voting is in November. All this money going towards Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is sending their money to Donald Trump. So really, what are y'all supporting? And if anything, let's think about this real quick. If the electoral college is the deciding factor, then 
these people, these liberals, these all these other people probably are sending that are supporting Black Lives Matter and that support Trump while y'all are sending y'all money, while y'all sending y'all money towards that, they're sending their money to Donald Trump. So in essence, y'all are going to keep this man in office, even if you vote, because undoubtedly, probably the Electoral College got their hand in this situation, too. Mm. Anyways, I'm going to drink my tea. Good morning, y'all. Have a great day.